Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do my go-to olive green eye. So this is kind of a panning look that I'm doing because I am panning an olive green um, eyeshadow in my single ladies and my man matte. So I thought I was going to show you guys how I am using it and how I love using it. <laughs> Same thing. Kind of how... I work an olive color day to day. I'm just going to get started because I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm a mess. I'm sorry. So to start out with, I am going in with my Morphe 35OM palette because that is what I am panning in the single ladies I'm my man matte. I am going in with a fluffy brush and then I am starting out with a kind of transition shade. Take that shade right there. Can you see in here? Just going in with that crease color slightly. And this is just to help the crease shade so it doesn't seem that harsh when we put a darker color in there. Some people like to start out with the darker shade, so the crease color and then blend it out with this kind of color. I, I don't do that all the time. Sometimes I do. Depends on the look. Yeah, then I'm going in with a little bit more orangey color. And that is this color right there. And it's just a little bit deeper, more orange. And if it's not orange enough, I'm going in with another color. But let's see how this goes. This can be a very intense look, so you can use a more vibrant orange. And you can do it more toned down like this orange right here that I'm using. Because I like to have a base for my lid shade, I'm going in with the Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil from um, NYX in Milk. And this is just to give a base for the shadow so it has something to grip on. Sometimes you don't really need it because eyeshadows are very creamy and pigmented, but I find some kind of base really good. And because this is wide, it will just make the eyelid shade pop. The color at least. And I'm just putting this on the mobile lid and then I'm kind of blending it out. Then we have the star of the show. It is this olive green right there. It is from Colored Rain. But of course you can just use whatever you want to. I don't really have an olive green in my collection or in my palettes that are this color. I'm going in with a flat concealer brush actually. I find this to be packing on the shadow really nice. Sometimes I really like to use my finger as well. So it is good to use a brush if you don't want to use your fingers. So I really really like an olive green instead of just a green green because it's more toned down. And I just in general really like to pair green with orange because I think they complement each other really really good. I do really like green and purple together as well, they look really nice. But my favorite is definitely orange and green. That is why I am doing that today. And because I do feel like we lost some of the orange in the crease, I am taking my fluffy brush again and dipping into the crease color. And then we are just going in to the crease. And this is kind of blending out the olive shade as well. Back and forth, back and forth. That's the best way to blend. I'm sure you guys know that. I'm just trying to explain what I am doing. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see. So this is kind of what it is looking like. It seems very light on camera. Maybe it is, so we can go in with our finger, just a little bit. For some reason my camera didn't tell me that I was running low on space. So, as I was trying to say, this crease is very very light, so if you want a crease that are more intense and more orange, I would go in with Morocco from Makeup Geek or just in the 35O palette. Like I used the transition shade, I would use some of these more orangey intense tones than this shade right there. Because I don't want it more intense right now, I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and I'm going to use 
this white shadow from Catrice right here and then this creamy shade from Benefit. And let's just do that real quick here with the Benefit shadow. It is a satin cream shade and then the white on the brow bone highlight and then we are going in with an eyeliner and i'm just taking the brown one from rimmel lot i'm panning And then I am going in with some mascara and then I'm choosing a lippy. And I might go for a peach today because it would match my crease color a little bit. So let me just do my lips and mascara off camera and then I will be right back. And my inner corner highlight is going to be the highlighter that I have on today. Which I love and that is my Franken highlighter from my 1919. I'm really excited about the highlight. It is really, really beautiful. Let me do my lips and mascara and then I will be right. So this is the finished look with some lip color and mascara on. Very, very bright lippy, but I love it. And this is the eye look. I adore this color combination. I love the olive and the orange. It's very, very simple. I actually didn't do anything on my lower lash line. Sometimes I forget. I can't be bothered. <laughs> so let's take the highlighter. My inner corner. You can ha never have too much highlight. That was everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please give it a like. Subscribe down below to see more of these kind of videos. And I have a few panning looks in mind that I want to share with you guys. If you so if you want to see those, please let me know down below. Otherwise, I do a lot of palette bingos and empties and pretty pants on my channel. And two weeks one palette. And I'm really excited because I am going to update you soon on my Panda palette, which is the Single Ladies on My Mind Matte project. I have considered restarting a Panda palette 2019 because I, I quit. <laughs> so I have considered restarting it. But let me know if you want to see that. I have considered it because I really want to finish up some shadows and I am not in the Single Ladies on My Mind Matte. I need my shadow numbers to go down, basically. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until my next one, please take care.